let's discuss how we're going to talk to anyone. Okay, so I've categorized it in four different parts. First one is attitude, then body language, then questioning and engaging. Let's talk about the attitude. Dun, dun, dun. What I personally do is, um, for example, if I come to a party and I only know three people and there's like 50 of them, then I just kind of think, well, I'm probably never going to see these people again. And if I do, then who cares? <laughs> so you should just have a, if I don't stand for anything, I'll fall for everything attitude. Um, nothing to lose and just feel good otherwise you should um, before you go to these kind of situations you should listen to some positive mojo song Anyways, if you just have an attitude that you want to get to know the people around you and you're actually interested in what they have to say and you're just happy and welcoming and open, that already gets you a long, long way on how to talk to everyone. And another thing is to have no shame. So you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people and you can in two years by trying to get people interested in you. That speaks volumes because in the end of the day you just need to show interest in other people and then you can talk to anyone because everyone has a story to tell and it's just, you can just find out so much by just asking questions. How to read body language. How it translates. Stand like this. I don't think anyone's gonna come and talk to me. I've got something to say, but you're talking, so I won't interrupt you. I'm leaning forward. I'm all ears. I'm leaning backwards. I'm not really interested in what you're saying. My hair in my face. Hey. Okay, the next part is questioning. A lot of people forget how much value a good question can have on a conversation or getting to know someone. Uh, There's some very standard ones. If you're international or in an international situation, of course, you know, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? Or you try to guess it, even better, yeah, as long as you don't offend them. Um, how old are you? Which languages do you speak? What do you study? What do you do in your free time? Uh, what's your favorite coffee flavor? Um, have you traveled? What have you seen? What's the craziest thing you've done? Uh, what's the scariest thing you've done? Do you have any phobias? Um, yeah, you can talk about anything. Uh, do you like photography? Did you know that Wizard of Oz is based on a political statement of the Americas in the 1890s. You can start from there. Example, let's say that I ask, what do you do in your free time? No, no, no. I like to take walks. Where do you like to take walks? Do you take walks a lot? On the beach. In the forest. I think I take it like three times a week. Oh, that's very interesting. And do you think you're gonna do something more like speed walking or jogging? Mm, well, didn't really think that much about it, but I like taking pictures when I go. Oh, okay, so you're also a photographer. If you take the time to, to watch those four things and actively work on it, you will notice that you start getting to know people a lot easier. Um, sometimes I just go up to someone in the middle of a party and I say, Hey, I don't know your name yet. Um, what's your name? Or, um, 
so how did you end up here or something like that completely relaxed and I mean some people you can see they're also not sure who they know and who they don't know so then you can just talk to them thank you for watching